A Long Island teacher's aide is accused of abusing a child by aggressively wiping the non-speaking disabled girl's face, leaving the child bruised. The girl's mother is speaking to CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan tonight, new at 6. I feel like they were trying to sleep under the rock. Jocelyn Beltre filled with anguish about her nine-year-old handicapped daughter, Crystal, who returned from school, she says, with extensive bruising on her cheeks and jaw. There were scratches on her face. It was, it, was, it was horrible. The Rockville Center mom claims a teacher's aide abused Crystal inside Hagedorn Little Village School in Seaford. After visiting the family pediatrician, Beltre confronted school officials but says was given the runaround. Eventually, after weeks of emails, texts, and phone calls, Beltre says the school relented and showed her surveillance video inside the classroom. Wiping her so hard, so hard with a paper towel. Crystal is mute. And and suffers from a rare chromosome disorder. In the video, it just showed her head going all the way back. And my daughter was just helpless, just looking down. She, she can't do anything. She can't. She's defenseless. She can't fight for herself. Your daughter can't speak. She can't speak. She can't lift up her hands. She can't say stop. Beltry went to the police. Eight months has passed since the alleged abuse. The mom says she never gave up and on this day feels vindication. Finally, today. It's a relief. The school's aide, head covered by a coat, 25 year old Alexander Kamel, a college grad from Garden City, pleaded not guilty to a Class E felony endangering the welfare of an incompetent or physically disabled person. Is there anything that you can say at this time? When all the facts come out, I'm confident that she'll be vindicated totally. Hagedorn Little Flower says it is fully cooperating. For the safety of our children, I need you to please remove yourself from the door. They emailed, we were distressed to learn that a teacher's aide at our school turned herself into police. We treated this matter very seriously and took all appropriate action when we learned of the allegations. The aide, Miss Camille, was released on bond and is out of a job. Her attorney predicts a judge will be able to clear see on video there was no abuse from district court in Hempstead Jennifer McLogan CBS 2 news